Okay, I get asked loads of times to do this. I've got a few minutes in my dinner hour, so this is going to be a quick one. Not particularly brilliant, but I had to make a ball. Not by eye, but a true ball. Or sphere, as you would like to say. Only soft wood, so that line is important. And now we just rough out the ball fairly close my height. Make sure you don't cut smaller than a ball. And if it was a null post, it hasn't been a ball on a null post. Boy, I would do. Uh, Something that's got to roll, got to be a bit more accurate. And if you just take that down roughly, pop it out, break the bits off, and we'll put the chucks in. Right. Turn these two little jam chucks, the raisest out to the size of the ball. Normally I would put a little bit of uh, felt or something in to stop it marking, but as this is a pretty quick demonstration I haven't got time for that. Right, line it in with the line, horizontal. Now you've got a very slight line here which you can work to. You can see where you've got to go now. now you can't use a skew for this because you're cutting across the end grain. It can most likely break out. Especially on softwood. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but there is like a ghost line which you've got to take down to the solid line. And you should always keep your pencil mark. If you've gone too far, you'll take this pencil mark out. If you do that, you've got to reduce your ball.
See, still got my pencil marking. I can't take that out. If I take that out, I've gone too far. Now we turn it to 45 degrees. Do exactly the same again. the pencil line. And I think my camera is probably giving a full compression to the speed. If I turn it up it doesn't I can still see my pencil line. I feel that now is a very slight flat. Pencil line out. So we're going to sand a couple of different, a uh, couple of different ways. There we go. As I say, it's a very quick demonstration. When you make these, you need to make sure these cones are perfect and with a bit of felt. But hey, yeah, doesn't look too bad, does it? So there's your ball. Let's go cross grain. How true does it roll?